From Turkey, assistant professor Najat Altintash is the head doctor at the Namik Kemal University Hospital, and he joins us from Istanbul. Welcome to the program. Um, now, Thank one you. of the things um, that we hear so often from I hear from friends and even myself here in Turkey and the rest of the world is people cannot sleep well during uh, these worrying times in this pandemic. Why is sleep so important during uh, this pandemic? So, yeah, Maria, I'm sure you also experienced it during the pandemic period that especially young people, they didn't get enough sleep. So sleep has very important impacts in our life. The, the first devastating impact is on our immune system. Such an example, after just one night of four to five sleep, there is 70% reduction in our critical anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, anti-infection cells, immune cells, so-called natural killers. So this is the reason sleep deficiency make us vulnerable to numerous infections, just, just like uh, COVID-19, other viral infections, and bacterial infections. So this is the first reason it depluses our immune system. Secondly, we have discovered over the last 10 years or so, sleep deficiency predicts your probability of developing any cancer. The list includes cancer of the breast, cancer of the prostate, as well as the cancer of the bowel. The link between the sleep deficiency and cancer is so strong that Recently, the World Health Organization classified any nighttime shift work as a probable carcinogen. This is the second reason. Thirdly, if you sleep less, will distribute the accumulation of toxic protein in your brain. We call it beta amyloid. Beta amyloid is also associated with Alzheimer's disease. And we also learned from the my studies two years ago that if you sleep, I mean, if you sleep during the, I mean, the deep sleep, a switch system within your brain actually kicks into high gear and it starts to wash out this Alzheimer-related protein. So what I mean, if you don't sleep well, uh -huh. this Alzheimer-related protein will accumulate in your brain. Okay. And thirdly, this is also important in our reproductive system. If a man usually sleep less than six hours, will have a level of testosterone, which is that of someone 10 years their senior. Oh. So lack of real sleep will age a man by almost a decade. It's also true for women. It also impairs female reproductive system. And finally, sleep is also important for our memory formation, especially after learning. Sleep work, uh, work as a save okay. button for those new memories so that you don't forget. Professor also Nejad, I, I have to jump in because I'm sure... So, sorry, so, sorry. I have Just, to jump in because I'm sure so many of our viewers, myself, were quite uh, shocked because we're learning, I definitely am, many things about the importance of uh, sleep. So what is your advice, your recommendations for people to get a good night's sleep because there are so many reasons and distractions yeah. preventing us from getting that good night's sleep that we need right now. Yeah, yeah. The, the, I can give you five short tips because we don't have uh, so much time. The first, they should strictly connect to their sleep schedule. They should go to the, sleep, the bed and they should wake up at the same time. This is the first. The second, they shouldn't use alcohol because people are asking me doctor should I use uh, alcohol because if I if if I get uh, alcohol I go to, I fall on the sleep better but alcohol is a sedative sedation is not the sleep they are, they are totally different so if you drink alcohol you're gonna stay in the lighter stage of the sleep not the deeper stage of the sleep that's why when you get up next morning you feel dizzy that's why you shouldn't take uh, alcohol you shouldn't uh, consume especially coffee afternoon because lifetime of the coffee is eight hours and you're going to also stay in the lighter stage of the 
uh, sleep. And thirdly, you should keep your room uh, around 68 Fahrenheit or 18.5 degrees Celsius because your room should be cold. And finally, uh, you should stay away, especially your phones and your tablets, because that emits your blue, blue light, and you're going to stay in a also superficial light. These are the, my recommendations uh, for now. Do Professor Najat, thank you so much. I will definitely be uh, keeping, uh, listening to your advice. I won't have my phone near me at night. Um, thank you so much for your time and explaining the importance of uh, sleep during these very challenging uh, pandemic times. We appreciate your analysis. Thank you.